Dave, wake up. We're starting. We're starting! Useless. Welcome back to Long Way Home, everyone. The place where getting your motorcycle news is easier than spotting a GS in front of a Starbucks, but not by much. <laughs> the Benelli TRK502, allegedly an adventure bike, a dual sport bike. It definitely looks the part. Borrowing design cues from the GS, the Multistrada, and others is coming to the US to add to the slim pickings in the midweight adventure class. But uh, that's not exactly what caught my eye. The bike is 6,000 US dollars and promises the world. Stick around. Choice is never a bad thing. It's always welcome, but value is more important. You can definitely buy something that is cheaper, but that does not directly translate into more value. When speaking about motorcycles, value could be anything from easier to do maintenance to the actual joy of riding that specific bike because it's better set up for your style of riding. Is the Benelli TRK502 a good value adventure bike even if the price is just $6,000? By the looks of it, its sheer size, you could swear it's at least a 700 or 800cc bike. However, at its heart lies a 500cc engine which puts out 47 horsepower and is married to a 6-speed gearbox. Pretty much the same as Honda's CB500X since that is the limit for the A2 category. Suspension is handled up front by massive 50mm inverted forks with 5.5 inches of travel compared to Honda's 5.9 inches and a standard monoshock on the back, both adjustable for preload and damping while Benelli branded brakes sitting on 320mm discs take care of the braking. Some creature comforts like illuminated switch gear. Are you listening BMW? Are you, are you listening? A USB socket, daylight running lights and a tall touring windscreen add to the overall package. All good so far. However, weight is really where I was massively disappointed. You know the feeling Dave? Disappointment? Do you know it? Yeah, you do, don't you? You do. You know it. The Benelli is almost 240 kilograms wet. That is GS territory and we are talking about a 500cc bike here. In comparison, the CB500X is about 40 kilograms lighter. Why is that? Well, refinement. Benelli just pretty much took all the adventure components they thought belonged on a dual purpose bike and threw them together without making a lot of research kind of like making a soup. This can be clearly seen when trying to lift the bike up on its center stand and the passenger pegs get in the way, making you contort in very weird ways in order to lift it up. This could easily have been solved with a bit of research and testing so the rider doesn't get disappointed in their purchase every time they try put the bike on its center stand. And then there's also the placement of the USB plug, very far away on the left side of the bike ensuring that when you travel at higher speeds, your phone's cable is going to slap your face and dance in front of your helmet for the entire trip. Motorcycle manufacturers go through a lot of optimization and refinement processes to make sure the bike's weight is kept to as much of a minimum as possible in the desired budget, obviously, and that the user experience is also a great one, both steps which Benelli seem to have skipped out on. However, in the end, the price of the TRK502 is lower than its competition in this segment. The only question is if the lack of refinement is something that you can live with. The TRK502 is available in two variants, the standard 502 which is more of a road biased version with less suspension travel, cast wheels and a much smaller exhaust and the 502X which is more off-road biased with spoked wheels more suspension travel and higher ground clearance. Both of them should be landing in US dealerships right about now as 2021 models. My main question is if you think these bikes are good value or not, even if for comparison's sake the CB500X is about a thousand bucks more. I know in Italy they are quite good sellers, following behind the Africa Twin and the GS, 
but I'm quite curious what the average American buyer feels the value of this bike actually is. Let us know in the comments below. Well, that's the show for today, everyone. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming a patron to help us make more of these shows. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.